Please give it up for Summer Wyrick. A year and a half ago, I started a remote company with two of my friends. Uh, sorry, I'm really nervous. Okay. <laughs> we've learned a lot over the last year and a half, and I'm here to share with you what we've learned so that you can fast track your team's success. It's important for you to know why I got into working remotely. A brief backstory is that I used to be a professional snowboarder. I had the time of my life traveling across the country and enjoying my time on the mountain with other professional skiers and snowboarders. It didn't exactly pay all the bills. <laughs> so I had to work, res resort to working multiple part-time jobs and I had to be very meticulous about my schedule. Um, most of these, these part-time jobs were in the event space. So very quickly, I became an expert in events. I had experience working different kinds of events, uh, collaborating with all types of people across the country. And I also had the chance to snowboard all day long and <laughs> freshen up to work events. So this expertise in events led me to do what I'm doing today. I'm the director of events for a company that is 100% remote 99% of the time. We are spread across the country, from New Jersey to Atlanta to here in Colorado. Just because we're remote doesn't mean that we can't enjoy the same types of events. Here you see me working remotely at Arapahoe Basin Ski Area. I enjoy schedule, schedule flexibility as well as location independence. And I never have to miss a powder day. It's great. <laughs> When you are building a foundation for your team, you can build from the inside out. Chances are that your team has everything that you need. You just need to identify the strengths and weaknesses, and what that takes is trust and good communication. It's hard to build that remotely, but it's entirely possible. Most importantly is company culture. It's important to create or to identify your company culture and to intentionally cultivate that company culture company culture goes beyond just a catchy, ta catchy brand colors and a fancy tagline. It, you know, creating a company culture is what turns values into action. Number two, systems. This is the one that I've had a hard time with because I'm really a go with the flow spontaneous type. But what I've learned recently is that systems help you to do things more efficiently. They help you to take care of things. You know, when you look at your team members, you see who is best at a certain thing. Figure out what they're doing and have this person teach the entire team what they know. Create systems out of that and you'll save your whole team a whole lot of time and you'll create more time to do other things. Tech essentials. Find out what tech is best for your team and watch out for shiny object syndrome. Don't just choose tech to choose more tech. Choose tech to make your team more effective. Uh, our team, company culture, uh, we very much value communication. So daily, we use communication. We use Slack, we use text message, we use phone calls, voice messages, etc. On a weekly level, we use Zoom for all of our meetings. It's important to have video meetings because you can communicate verbally and non-verbally, which is essential in a remote team culture. Also, on a biannual level, we do retreats. It's important to get that in-person communication. Our tech and our systems support the daily, weekly, and biannual retreats that you have within your company. Annual retreats not only help you break out from the rebel that you've become in the 40 plus hours behind a computer screen, allows you to reconnect with yourself, others, and the planet. Retreats allow you to get together with the people that you care about, and the company culture that you create can be anything that you want it to be. Company culture turns values into actions, and you need to get together with the people in your life so that you can instill this in your company. The three important remote team essentials are company culture, systems, and tech. If you don't get together with your team on a regular basis and have that in-person communication and the in-person human connections, your team will eventually break down 
and you won't have a team anymore. Thank you.